Hey everyone, you're joining me in my bathroom today for two reasons. The first one is, it's the quietest room in the house right now. My kids are out there in the kitchen and the living room and they're making a ton of noise. But in here, I'm hoping I can find some quiet escape before they start banging on the door. So let's hope so. Um, also, the second reason we are in here is because I wanted to show you this. I have been sticking scriptures all over my house right now, and this is the one I have been keeping in the bathroom because this is the one I need to remember every morning when I get up and I start my day before I do anything else. So this scripture says, Cause me to hear your loving kindness in the morning, for in you do I trust. Psalm 143, verse 8. This is actually just the first part of the verse. I'll read the second part in, in a minute. But I wanted to share with you um, what's what stirred my heart as I've been reading this, is that God is reminding me that first we need to hear his loving kindness. It doesn't say cause me to hear your plan or your will or your direction. It doesn't say cause me to see you move mountains in the morning, for in you do I trust. We find our trust in God because we know he loves us. And because we know he loves us, we can walk through anything. I told you that was the first part of the verse. The second part of that verse says, make me know the way I should go, for to you I lift up my soul. So the psalmist does eventually ask for God to make make known the path that he is supposed to walk on. But the very first thing in this section of the Bible that the psalmist needs to remember is that God loves him first and foremost. And God has really been challenging me. Do I need a God who only directs my paths and who only shows me what to do next? Or do I want a God who I know loves me no matter what? And would I be satisfied if I only had a God who directed but he didn't know loved me? Or would I be satisfied with a God who loved me regardless of the direction? And I think that that is, um, of course, where we all naturally tend to go. When we get to heaven, especially when I spend eternity with, with my God, I don't want a God who's just a director. I want a God who's intimately connected, who, who I love, who I know loves me, and who, um, and who I can spend eternity with knowing that he loves me too. And so we need to reflect that here on this side of heaven too, that we are serving a God who first and foremost loves us. And we need to be reminded of that when God, when God doesn't seem to be answering our prayers or when we've been struggling or when he just outright says no to something that we have been asking of him, we can remember first and foremost that he loves us. So I wanted to share with you one extra verse before we go. It's my favorite verse in the whole Bible. Um, two verses actually, it's Romans 8 verses 38 and 39. <clears throat> and it says this, For I am sure that neither that neither death nor life, nor angels, angels nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor heights, nor depth, nor anything else in all of creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. So I hope you go about the rest of your day and the rest of your week meditating on the fact that first and foremost, God loves you. And beyond that, he will walk us through anything else the rest of the week, no matter how difficult of a struggle it may be. All right, enjoy your week. Bye.